Hello and welcome to the daily market commentary with me, Jan Mota, Chief Market Analyst for TU Markets. And before we continue, let me remind you that we do not provide investment advice. So pause the video, read through the disclaimer and continue watching only if you agree that we do not provide investment advice. This is for educational and marketing purposes only. Now, in today's market news, we have the Reserve Bank of New Zealand keeping the rates and the large scale uh, asset purchase program or so-called LSAP program untouched. So this obviously didn't stop the market moving lower. And we have seen some dollar strength go, coming into this market for you know, a couple of days now. So obviously uh, news of the central bank not doing much anything isn't going to change anything really. So now we have the focus on the PMI numbers. The European, most important European numbers are from uh, Germany, of course, the being the biggest economy in the Europe. And we can see that the services PMI with German, the German numbers and as well in France are lagging behind the expectations. COVID-19 has been hitting the uh, services sector pretty badly in UK, in France, around the globe really, but also in Germany, as you can see from the numbers. Manufacturing is doing quite good at the moment compared to expectations and uh, the manufacturing numbers in Germany are well above the 50 level, which is the crucial number for PMIs. If you don't know what the PMIs mean, very briefly, they are referring to the level of trust among the purchasing managers on how their businesses will develop in the near future. In this questionnaire that is sent to hundreds of different purchasing managers, they ask about different uh, uh, aspects of the businesses. Let's say there is uh, employment, hiring, there is uh, future orders, pricing, inventories, all these different highly important factors for businesses are mapped in this survey and the different purchasing managers give their views on how these aspects are going to develop. In the UK, we have pretty much the same uh, situation here. The services is lagging behind the expectations, but still the manufacturing in the UK didn't do much better either. It was exactly at the expectations. And as we have been talking lately about the UK economy, having lots of different uncertainties, the pound USD continued lower. And now just to give you a very quick heads up for about tomorrow, we have SNB monetary policy assessment and their new uh, interest rate revealed tomorrow. We have unemployment claims from the US and the F then some uh, Fed talk from the US also. But today we are going to look at different markets in separate videos because I want to keep these videos shorter than they have been lately. So and I want to give you a very specific idea with the title of each video, what the video is about. So oh, I hope this will help you to better focus on material that you find the most beneficial. And please feel free to give me feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these videos so that I can develop my, my service to you better. Because at the end of the day, the reason I'm here, the reason Tio Markets wants me to be here is to help you to grow as a trader and to help you to develop different strategies and be more comfortable in your trading so that eventually you can have better progress with your trading account. So stay tuned for more analysis here. Stay tuned for more analysis on tomarkets.com slash analysis where I post my analysis on daily basis and then on this YouTube channel you'll have lots more on daily basis as well. Thank you, trade safe, see you soon again.